Hello farmers, you're welcome back to our YouTube channel. Let's quickly talk about how to use effective Lasota. So I know a lot of us are familiar with Lasota and we know what we use Lasota for. But for those who are just joining the poultry farming, for the freshers, for those who are still, we are just going into poultry farm. So let's quickly talk about this so that some of us can know how to use Lasota and when to use Lasota. But before we go into today's video before we talk about the content kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified when next we drop a new content like this for you you know we told you already that in Naduta farm what we talk about is farming everything pertaining to agriculture so that is what we'll discuss in this group and we promise to give you all the best and that is what we are doing every day here so before sorry it's been four days that i dropped a video for you you know me there is one thing about me, I, I need to get a real information, deep information about something before I bring it to you. I don't just want to bring you something that won't profit you or something that will render you in trouble. So something that will give you issues or problem whenever time you follow my idea. So here we will give you all the best as we promised and we will try all our effort to make sure you are successful in your agricultural business. Before I talk about Lasota, we should know one thing that Lasota does. Lasota is the vaccine for Newcastle disease. If the pool of your chicken are greenish, that means you need Lasota. So for you to give Lasota to your chicken, it is not what you do every day and it is not what you do every week. I will tell you when to do it and when not to do it. If you want to go to any agri store to get your Lasota, there is something you should note. They will give you your Lasota with ice block so and if you go to this store without taking your cooler small cooler as you can see it in the picture if you do not go along with your cooler they won't give you the lasota so if your lasota is not iced then it is not lasota take note of that your la your lasota must be freeze every 24 7 every day every morning every every afternoon and every evening 24 7 every week every day your lasota must be freeze it must be in freezer where there is ice block so it must be in a cold place so if there is no ice block close to your lasota within two three four five minutes your lasota has got spoiled so take note of that so if you are, if you want to go and buy lasota from a greek store from any agri medical store so you have to go with your cooler if you don't go so we even sell some me try to sell the lasota for you putting it inside nylon and uh, put ice block before giving it to you you shouldn't take that one and some that love you will actually ask for your cooler if you don't come with your cooler they won't give you the lasota when you go to the store and you go with your cooler and they give you the lasota they will help you package it in the nylon and put ice block beside it so after they do that they will now put it inside your cooler and they will cover it you must not open it until you reach your farm they ice block they put inside your cooler is enough to sustain the lasota till you reach your farm you know when the ice block is inside the cooler there's no way that the steam that, that the steam will evaporate from the cooler so it is just between it, everything is inside the cooler so that is why the ice block they give you will sustain you till you reach your farm so once you reach your farm before you give your chicken the lasota let me tell you another thing you need to know if you have to give your chicken lasota maybe on monday or on tuesday so if you want to give it give it to them on tuesday and you are not the one to do it if you have workers in your farm that is what i'm talking about right now so you are going to tell your workers if you are going to give them on tuesday so on monday you tell them in the evening or in the afternoon so you keep on ringing it to their ear that tomorrow i want to give my chicken lasota so starting from six a.m. or 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. withdraw water from the chicken don't let them take any water so you keep on ringing that to your workers or yourself would do that so you wake up to your farm early in the morning something like that seven and you withdraw the water to something like nine so you are going to assume you are going to give your chicken the last water by nine then you should target that by by that night they should have spent two hours why do we need to Task them. The reason is because they will be able, they will be eager to drink whatever thing you give them because they are already thirsty. So they need water. They need anything that is hydro, anything liquid. 
they just want to drink they have been eating so they will need water so with that they will be forced to take the lasota either bitter or sweet they will be forced to take it by force so you should withdraw water for something like two to three hours so that your chicken will be thirsty for anything liquid after that what next should you do if if it is like 30 minutes to when you are going to give them the lasota so you try to get your bowl a big bowl a big drum whatever thing you call it or a rubber basin whatever thing you call it it's just like this but make sure it is the one that they have already labeled you can see you will see the label there like uh, 10 20 30 liters upward so you get get something like that after you get something like that what you're going to try what you're going to do is you fill up for 2000 let me give you this for example for 2000 beds so make sure you fill the the basin the rubber basin or whatever thing you get the bowl you get or the drum you get fill it to to something like that 100 90 to 120 is not too much for 2000 and I'll tell you the dose you are going to put inside. So for 2000. So after you fill it with ordinary water, clean water, but make sure you wash the bowl before you put the water. Wash it very well and raise it. So you put the water. After you put the water, what next? Get, is that you get picnic or you get cowbell, whichever you choose. But make sure it is white. There is dano milk. So anyone you get. Make, but make sure it is white one. I'm not talking about colored one. I'm not talking about chocolate. Just get a white powder milk. So after you get the white powder milk, so like three, four, five chashet is not too much for the dose and for that between 90 to 120 liters. So it is not too much. You get four sachet or you get like five sachet. After you get it, you tear it inside the water, inside the drum. You know, I should have made a video of this for you, but sometimes I'm not close to the farm, so I'm, I have to drop video like this for you. But explaining deeply and explaining better and to be calm and explain to you, I believe you are going to get it if you are to do it. Because this is how I told one of my subscribers. So this is our lecturer and thank God she's happy about it because she understands it very well. After you tear the shashet of the powder make inside the water you try to steer it or you mix it however you do it that you steer it you use stick to steer it a clean stick or you use another water another rubber small rubber you turn the water you mix it all together so after you mix it so before you mix your powder with water the milk powder with your water Please don't take your lasota out then. Let it still be in the cooler. When you are done mixing the powder and the water, you cannot take your lasota out. Take a look at this lasota. There is a silver cover on it. So the silver co cover is, should I call it meta or something like a scientist no best. So there is something like an iron or a, uh, a metal on top of it that they used to cover it. That is to tell you the level of the lasota. So lasota is not something you can just take anyhow. So look at the cover. So you are going to tear the cover. Is that how you use it? Because it's not something you can use your name to tear your nail because they sealed it very well so you you can use your teeth or anything you see to tear it but please be very very careful if you want to tear your lasota cover if you are tearing it with your teeth be very very careful so that you don't open the rubber that is inside there is a rubber that that's still cover it that sealed it together so they just use the iron to cover the rubber with the bottle so you try to open it be very very careful i'm repeating it again be very very careful so after you remove the iron so you don't open your lasota outside don't do that mistake you don't open your lasota outside take your lasota down to the bottom of the water or to the middle of the water not on top of the water and not in the air don't do that if you do that psh, your lasota is gone there's nothing inside it again you just wasted that lasota after you open the iron then you, you with the you leave the rubber so with the rubber you will not dip your hands down 
to the rubber basin that you mix the water you mix with uh, milk powder so you dip it down after you dip it down so you now open the rubber that is inside inside that water you open the rubber that they used to cover that lasuta bottle then you shake it something like you are raising it then you raise it after you raise it you cannot bring it out so the lasota have already mixed with the water so the next one that is how you open you open you open you open it until you finish doing it please i am warning again don't open your lasota in the ear open it inside your water so after you open all your lasota into the water then you cannot mix it. Is that you use your stick again to stir it or you use your rubber to mix it? Make sure you mix it very well. So after you mix it very well, you can now share it to your chicken. So how many dose do you need to give like 2,000 beds? You know, due to everyday loss of content, the amount of things they keep inside those things, they keep on reducing. Every day they are reduced, every day they are reducing. So some of these medication are not quality they are not quality like before so they are not rich like before so this this they have reduced all the content so you just have to buy for two thousand beds layers so you need to buy up to three or four bottles and a bottle is one thousand mil so that is you are going to get like four thousand for the two thousand beds so that the thing will be very very effective so after you buy it you cannot do it in such a way so when you do it like that after you mix your lasota you give it to your chicken after you give it to your chicken what next leave your chicken for something like one hour more but make sure they drink the lasota finish you watch them please i am warning again i said it in, i said this in one of my video check the nipple check your nipple make sure they are bringing out water very well please there are some that used to cover with diet that there won't be enough water enough water won't be coming out just make sure you go around whenever time you are giving your chicken lasota check so that all of them will take out of that medication so once you go around and you see that they drink they all drink the lasota so you can now leave them and go and rest don't give them water immediately. It's just like you are diluting the lasota inside of them. So don't give them water immediately. Leave them for something like one hour. So after that one hour, they will still be they will be thirsting for water again. But by then, your lasota would have finished the work it's doing inside the chicken. Simple. After they finish, you can now give them fresh water after one hour. So once they drink. You, leave, you give them fresh water, good water, clean water throughout that day. So the second day, you will now give them well, whatever vitamin you see, either multivitamin or amino, um, is it amino? So we have a lot of vitamin that you can give them. So you give them the vitamin day one. Assuming you give them Lasota on Tuesday, that means on Wednesday, they are going to take vitamin throughout. If if you give them vitamin in the morning and they finish it, you still give them in the afternoon. If they finish it, you still give them in the evening. No ordinary water. The water they will drink throughout that day will be vitamin. Then on Thursday again, vitamin again throughout. No ordinary water. Then on Friday again, vitamin throughout. No ordinary water. So after that, the Saturday, the day that follow Friday, which is Saturday, you now give them, continue giving them fresh water. For how long should you be giving your layers lasota? That is a month interval. If you give your layers lasota on the 31st, on the 31st of the second month of the second month, you should give them lasota again. So if you give them on the first, on the first of the second month, you should give them lasota again. Just a month interval. And quarterly, that is every three, three months. That should be four times a month, I think. I think it's true. Four times a month, you give them lasota plus IB. That will make your chicken to be okay. Remember I told you, giving your chicken lasota, your layers lasota, will cure Newcastle disease and will also help their egg shell to be strong. So in case you're having soft shell, that means you're not giving your chicken lasota. And you should be giving them every one one month so they should be taking lasota and every three three months you give them lasota 
plus i b so that will help your chicken to be very very healthy also don't forget other medication you can give to your chicken to avoid or to prevent them from any infection so this will help your chicken to be okay and they'll be giving you the eggs they should give you on time and you are going to make money from them so don't forget this is adota farm i told you all we discuss about is agriculture and we'll bring you uh, information that will help you do well on your agri farm i hope this will help some of our freshers and some people that are inside this business would still don't know how it is properly done so that is how you apply lasota you give your chicken lasota that is how to use it effectively so without your chicken will do very well don't forget i am your farm, farm captain simeon and this is our youtube channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to also like our youtube channel don't forget to share and don't forget to drop a comment thank you so much we love you all